Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel. Welcome to this week's new arrival roundup. I'm filming it on a Thursday. We're back to that again. I'm filming most of it on a Thursday. There will be the little clip at the end where I catch up with what they post on Friday, but life gets busy sometimes and I want to make sure that I get this filmed because I probably won't have time to do it tomorrow. So if you are new to the new arrival roundup, what I do in these videos is I check out what Diamond Art Club has posted on their social medias over the past week and we talk about the kits that are going to be releasing on the weekend or if there is a midweek release we will talk about those but this week that's not relevant there wasn't a midweek midweek release i'm already getting tongue-tied so what we're going to do is just look at the pictures that are posted on instagram and facebook and we will check out the renderings we'll talk about when the kits will release also down below there will be links to the sneak peeks for all of these kits that receive a sneak peek uh, some of them may not be posted in time before the release and those will be called first looks whenever they get posted later on and I will try to remember to update the description box as I see the first looks get posted. I'll talk more about that later but I honestly have no idea yet which ones are going to be sneak peeks and which ones are going to be first looks and most of the time I find that out at the same time as you guys. <laughs> But if you're looking for whatever sneak peeks are available, they'll be linked down below. If you don't know what a sneak peek is, it's just when a content creator receives the kit from Diamond Art Club a little bit early and they can unbox it on their channel and show you everything that comes in it, show you the canvas up close, show you the drills, all of those good things. And you'll get so much more information about each specific kit that you might be interested in. So definitely go check those out. All right, here we are on Diamond Art Club's Instagram page which is where we will get started. Uh, usually I would be talking about a midweek release at this point. The Diamond Art Club has been doing those quite often, but this week uh, we started off the week with a holiday in the US, so that's probably what kept them from doing a release earlier in the week. Also, they had a super good sale over the weekend, so they were probably busy getting those orders ready to go anyway. All that to say, the ones we're going to look at today are all going to release on Saturday. So by the time you see this video, it will be tomorrow, unless you're watching this video at some other random time. If you're watching this video right after I post it, then it'll be tomorrow. Uh, what? Um, July the 9th. That is when it is. The release window will open at 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern time for Diamond and Ruby level members, and then at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. That'll be when the general access window opens. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm really getting tongue-tied today. I hope you know, well, you probably noticed how, because I edited it pretty poorly, that I just said all of that, except I said it was in June. It's not June. It's July now, and here we go. <laughs> this is the first image posted this week. This one is called Songbird. A Season of Song Hummingbird by Wanda Mum. It is a 71 centimeter by 43 centimeter. It's round drill with 40, 41 colors and four ABs. And here is the rendering. I really like all of the flowers on the. I mean, I, li I like the hummingbird, but I feel like some people are like really, really, really into hummingbirds. That, that's just like an iconic animal. I don't know if it's just because I'm from the south and people really like hummingbirds around here, but like I'm not as into hummingbirds as some people. I do like them. They're pretty, but I'm more into the flowers in this piece. And I like the, the pretty like bluish purple background there. That's really pretty too. Also, I don't know if Instagram cropped this or anything, so I should probably show it to you on Facebook and see. I do not think Instagram cropped it, but this is, this is huge. This is a little bit over large. And there's the rendering in super huge format. I still love the color though. And on this, you can you can kind of see some of these purple flowers better. I mean, I could kind of get a glance at those. It looks like there's some blue flowers in the back also. Let me look at the original image and see. No, no. I was making that up. But these are there. There's some flowers back here. They kind of look like in the original image. They all kind of look like they're the the same flower 
But then in the rendering, it looks like you've got all these variations. Like these are like look like a different type of flower. I almost like that better in, in the rendering, which is interesting. Okay, I think Nugget is about to have a barking fit, so. No? No? Okay, no, he's going back to sleep. Never mind. All right, moving along. Oh, I love this one. This one's called Rhythm by Angela Trotta Thomas. It is 56 centimeters by 76 centimeters. It's another round drill. 44 colors with four ABs. Full image on our Facebook. Oh, okay, well, I haven't looked at it on Facebook at all. How much more is there? Usually when they say that in like they have the little parentheses full image on our Facebook, that means there's a lot missing on the Instagram post. But here's the rendering here. Okay, I am very curious. Oh my goodness, yes, there was there was quite a bit cropped out. Thanks, Instagram. Oh, I really love this. Look at the colors. Oh, I hope this one gets a sneak peek. Oh, please, please let somebody get the sneak peek. You guys will know before I know because they're not going to get posted until tomorrow for me but you will have already noticed probably in your subscriptions or if you checked my description box there's links there so if this one got a sneak peek already it'll be down there oh my goodness I love it I love it and it, is it round drill it's round drill because I yeah I I said yeah I said round and I said ooh cool round probably because I always get amazed when there's a round drill one posted because we didn't have rounds for so long but now it just kind of seems like we're getting rounds pretty regularly again so i guess that 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 whole uh famine of rounds is done <laughs> anyway this piece i cannot wait to get a closer look at this the only concern i might have is it's looking like a lot of the tones of her skin are similar to the tones in this uh, headscarf, I guess, is, is all of this scarf. Wait, go back. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what all... I mean, this is just like beautiful accents around her head that don't necessarily have to be a continuation of, of her headscarf thing, but they also could be. So I'm seeing a lot of like that reddish tone and then I can see some reddish tone here that looks very similar and some more here, it, kind of in the shading in her skin. And I hope that that maybe isn't the same color. Maybe I'm just kind of interpreting it wrong and maybe the drill colors picked aren't anything alike because I would hate for it to all just kind of blend together like like this blend into her face but I don't get that vibe from how it's rendered here but I always like to take a look at drill colors so that I would know for sure <laughs> before I purchased which I really 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 want to do for this one though there is one other one I've seen posted that might get me if if I only can buy one it might be one we'll talk about in a few minutes. I bet there's some ABs through here in this in this flute and in her earring here. I bet there's some ABs through there. This is going to be so pretty. It's going to be so pretty. Okay, let's move along. I think everyone is excited about this one. This is Coral Castle by Randall Spangler. It is 70 by 70. Cool. Okay, I didn't realize that it was... I, I thought it was going to be like enormous. It is square drill. 59 colors with five ABs, and here is the rendering. I'll go ahead and flip on over to Facebook. Okay, here we are on Facebook. Nugget's been barking for several minutes, so if I was saying something, I've totally forgotten. But anyway, this is what it looks like on Facebook. These Spanglers that are not the draglings, like, I, I am really into the, the, what are they? The Houses of Ulm, the, just the ones that are houses. And this one, I guess, could count because it's like a sea castle. Um, I don't know if I'm going to count that because I've already decided that if Diamond Art Club comes out with all of the houses, I'm going to collect them all. But I don't think I'm going to count this one <laughs> as one of the houses. Maybe I can say I'm collecting all of the land houses. I just, I, I do like this one. Let me show you the rendering. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's the rendering. Okay. I want to be absolutely in love with 
the kits that I buy and I don't feel that way about this one and I really can't tell you why I can't tell you because I love the colors I absolutely love the colors I am usually a sucker for any like water themed kit I don't know why I'm not feeling this one I I, I don't know we've got we've got the creepy faces again but the what, what was it? Some Enchanted Evening, I think, was what it was called. The really super huge kit that was the first house, Spangler House, that Diamond Art Club released. It had the creepy faces, like, in the trees, and it did not bother me. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to think about this one. I don't know about the faces on the fishies. I don't know. Do, do you guys think I should get this? If I'm going to collect all of the houses, do you think this counts? I don't know. The more I look at it, the more I think it might be like actually fun to do. There'd be a, probably a lot of confetti down here, but then a little bit of blocking up through these different blues in the background. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And we are going to move on to this one. This one's called Butterflies by Greg Giordano. It is 74 centimeters by 56 centimeters. It is round drill. It has 51 colors and five ABs. I can tell you, I'm pretty sure this one is cut off, but let me show you the rendering here. Also, this is one of the ones that I know is probably not going to get here in time for a sneak peek because the sneak peek is, is mine. I am going to be doing the unboxing of this one. I I am worried that it's not going to get here. If if it does, it will probably the sneak peek will probably go up after this video, but if it doesn't come in time, then it'll just be a first look, but I will be unboxing this one for you just as soon as possible so you can see more detail about it, but I I can already tell from the rendering photos here that it's gorgeous and it's round we're getting so many rounds let me oh, let me just show you the full image it's so pretty it's so pretty i am having like a yellow thing where <laughs> i just I, I it's not gonna replace pink it's not that's i don't even know if it's possible to replace my love of pink but yellow is just something that i've found super appealing more and more over the past few months and this one just it just gets me there are so many yellow things in here and I do I I love a good monarch butterfly they're so pretty and I I did that one a few weeks ago the mason blue that had a pretty butterfly with some ABs in it and I wonder how many of these little guys are going to be just chock full of ABs but even if the ABs are mostly in the flowers that won't bother me either like anywhere that ABs are in this whole piece is going to make me happy. This is just, this is almost like that pink roses kit from Kelly Eddington that we got several months back. This one kind of has that same vibe except for the butterflies being the focal point rather than the flowers, but the flowers are still present and very detailed. I love this. Okay, I had to put Nugget out of the room. He is driving me nuts. I keep having to stop for intervals while he barks. I don't even know what he's barking about. But anyway, I cut all that out, so <laughs> you probably don't even know that he's been barking, but it's been aggravating me. Anyway, this one is the one I was talking about a few minutes ago. That's really probably top in my list this week. This one is called Spring Blossom by Rika Sophia Raikkonen. It is 56 centimeters by 74 centimeters. I love that size. It's round drill. I did not expect that. 67 colors with five ABs. I I don't know. She's probably cut off because she doesn't look quite centered there, but maybe she's not supposed to be. Okay, here's the full image. She is supposed to be off-centered. So <laughs> now you can see that in full. And oh my gosh, the rendering on her face is so good. How many colors do you think are there in her eye? My goodness, it looks like that's just like a confetti zone right there. So many different colors, but it's, it's going to add so much. Each one of those colors adds so much to the definition in her eye. Oh my goodness. Now, okay, I know that I just said maybe she's not supposed to be off-center. And to me, I kind of feel like I don't like that she's off-center. And I hope that I didn't just like 
tell you that and you hadn't noticed and now you can't unsee it. I'm very sorry if, <laughs> if that's what happened, but I can't unsee it either. And that that's a little bothersome to me, but I do like that we've got this, um, not sure what it's supposed to be. It looks like a column to me over here with like these flowers climbing it and that that's so pretty and then the matching flowers in her hair that's really pretty and I don't know if like if she was centered if we wouldn't have that on the edge there and I kind of feel like I would rather have that and her be off center than have her be in the center and not have this pretty thing on the edge I'm okay with it is what I'm saying I think she's beautiful I really hope this one gets a sneak peek also because I would love to see the drill colors used and I would just love to see the the whole canvas laid out. It's not huge, right? Didn't we just see? Yeah, 56 by 74. We've been getting so many more that are reasonably sized. Well, I mean, any they're all reasonably sized because Diamond Art Club chooses the best size for the image. But we've been seeing a lot that I feel as a diamond painter are reasonably completable for me. We've been seeing a lot of sizes like that in the past few weeks, which is really exciting. And plus this one is a round. I don't, do you guys diamond paint faster when it's round drill? I do. I, I don't know. I don't think that's just me either. I think that most people diamond paint faster when when it's round drill but I don't know if that's universally true but because this is a round and because it is a nice not small but not huge size I just I feel really drawn to this one I feel like I might have to get it anyway I should move along before I, I probably spent like half of the video talking about that one there's another one in this post that's and it's so pretty I, I love the little look on his face He's just like, hey, I'm, I'm busy here. <laughs> hey, this is Oak Island Whitetail by Richard Clifton. It's 51 centimeters by 86 centimeters. It's round drill. We've got more rounds than squares this time. It's got 30 colors with three ABs. Okay, I, I have thoughts. Hang on. Let's look at the rendering, and then I'm going to pull it up on Facebook. Ooh, the rendering on his face is really good. Okay, here is the full image on Facebook, and then here is the full rendering. I love how they've rendered the face. I really like that. I like that this one is like fewer colors. It's 30 colors. How many ABs did it say? 30 colors with three ABs. So that that's a good amount of colors. It's not, I mean, Diamond Art Club tends to usually use more colors than that, and I think that Typically, it's needed, but in this piece, I'm glad that they just, they stuck with with the few that they did. It's going to look good. It's going to look detailed, but you're only going to have to deal with 30 colors. Also, it's interesting that this one is, I think, the largest one that we've looked at. So, I mean, well, 51 centimeters. So, it's just going to be, it's going to be like this. It's going to be tall and skinny, I guess. So it'll just be 51 centimeters across, but it's, it's a long one, 86 centimeters. So it's gonna, it'll be the longest or tallest one that we've looked at so far. Sorry, I didn't mean to switch back to that one. I actually literally just thought that we were on the original image and I thought I was switching to the rendering. So that should tell you how good the rendering is that I thought I needed to, to switch over to the rendering. Anyway, I think this one's beautiful. I think that all of the Richard Clifton animals are beautiful. I particularly like the rendering on this face. I can't get over it. I'm sorry that I'm I'm just saying that over and over. I wonder about the background in this one because to me, it doesn't look like it's all one color, but it's so close. Like it might be like 310 and 939 or something that's just really close, but it might not be entirely color blocking. I can't really tell. We'll just have to wait for a sneak peek or a first look on that one. Okay, that is the images that we have so far. So probably tomorrow around lunchtime, well, for me, lunchtime, Diamond Art Club will probably post the last of the images that are going to release this weekend. So I will be back with you tomorrow to look at those.
Hello, it's Friday, and we have got two more, it, well, I assume it's two more images. I actually, like, I have seen this one because I couldn't help it because it's right there and I'm looking at it right now, but whatever else is in this post, I haven't seen yet, so I can react to it in real time with you guys. Also, um, I hope that you can see, whoa, no, no, I don't, no, no, no. Okay, I don't know why all that happened. I was just trying to show you that it's freaking hot here. It's 90 degrees, but we have a heat index of like 107, and it's just miserable, okay? I hate it. Anyway, let's look at these images. This one, of course, beautiful. It's got a pink flower. What is it called? Lotus Koi Fish by Ranjitha Anoop. It is 46 centimeters by 64 centimeters. Ooh, I like that size. It's round drill. 36 colors with five ABs. And there is the rendering. I I don't know. Let's let's look at Facebook. Okay, was it cut off? I don't know. Maybe like a little bit at the top and bottom. And then there is the rendering. This one's really pretty. You know, a pink flower just kind of is an instant win for me. <laughs> I I love it. I like the little koi fishies in there as well. I, I feel like this like is a lot of background, but it doesn't look like it's just one color over and over and over. It looks like you get to break it up into, I mean, it'll still be like color blocking sections, but not just like blocking and blocking and blocking of the same color. So that is... It, that would probably keep me interested if I were to get this one. This little, like, lily pad thing looks like it might have some confetti in it, but I can't, can't really tell, but it does look like there's a lot of different colors in there. Oh, what you, what you think? This one might have a pink AB. Oh, I bet it. I bet. How many ABs? Uh, five. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely room for a pink one. Maybe a yellow, too. Probably a green. Probably a white, but I really feel like there could be a pink. I, I would bet on it this time. I hope there's a pink so much. Or maybe a lavender, but that would still be pretty. Okay, we've got another one. I haven't seen it. I haven't even read over here. I'm looking away. <laughs> so I don't know what the next one is. Uh, I did want to mention, though, that I haven't seen any sneak peeks go up yet, but I could have just... I could have missed them. And by the time this video goes up, that may not be true anymore, but I do know there have been a lot of shipping delays recently and I think that many of these kits are going to end up being first looks so if you are going down to the description box and you're hunting for one in particular and there's no link for it maybe give it a few more days um we're, we're all just kind of in the in the shipping limbo right now where we're just waiting <laughs> to get our kits so that we can unbox them for you guys but there could still be some sneak peeks coming. I don't know about all of them. Anyway, now let's look at this final image. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I, I like this more than I... I, I just figured it was going to be one and, and I wouldn't be like all that interested in it. But I really do like this. Okay. Uh, la, da, 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 Wolf Song, that's what it's called, by Dawn Garrity. It's a 56 centimeter by 74 centimeter. Oh, I like that size. It's round drill, 33 colors with four ABs. You know, this post doesn't say that these are the final images for this week. Hmm. Okay, I'll reflect on that later. Anyway, this really, like, this is not a Deborah Malcolm piece, but it gives me Deborah Malcolm vibes. I love Deborah Malcolm. I'm glad that we, we're getting more artwork in that similar type of style with this beautiful background of the sky. Let, let me see if there's any cut off. Hang on. Oh my gosh. It's, it's just pretty. I, I don't think if, if anything was cut off, it wasn't much, but I really like this. I like the wolf and the, the little spiral down here to like break up this blocking section. Uh, I really love this. I really love this. Do I need this? Uh, did I say it was round drill? Is it round drill? Yeah, I think that this is like conclusive now that rounds are back. There's just so many rounds. I think we only had like one square this week, maybe? This one's really kind of getting me though. I love these colors in the back. 
the the sky. I love it. Okay, I had to take a staring break for that one. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do, since this one did not say that this was the final image or the final post for this weekend's releases, I'm just going to kind of hang out. Uh, I'll just go ahead and stop this video and I will edit and then I'll wait and see if maybe we get another post later in the day. Okay, I'm making the camera bigger so that I can talk to you guys. Anyway, so I'm going to close out the video, but if I pop in for another little uh, segment at the end, that's because there was another post. But for now, I'm going to assume since every other week their Friday post has been the last post for the weekend's releases. So I'm just going to roll with that and go ahead and say goodbye. So if there's no clip at the end of this, then you know that that was all for the weekend. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.